Hi guys, it's me, Little Miss Bloodworth, and welcome back to Botany Manor. Okay, so last time we were looking at, well, we completed the Sapphire Gloom, and what a gorgeous mushroom this was, and the way it growed that tree afterwards was amazing. Luckily, only two clues for this one. Very easy. So we've got Nightfall. Uh, Cradle Fern and Brook Chalice to do left in terms of this chapter and uh, wow I just I still can't stop marveling that place so let's take a look around um, and we're going to go explore some of the areas we didn't quite get to do last episode um, to hopefully complete um, at least a couple of the other plants in today so let's take a look so what have we got around? It's such a pretty little area. So what's this? The trapped berry. Oh, how beautiful. And that is giving off that night bloom vibe. So I bet it's that as well. Dear Arabella, I was taking a walk along a river in Somerset recently and noticed a sight that I uh, just had to write to you about. In the water, I saw the brook chalice blooming. Ooh. I've never seen or heard of it flowering before and uh, none of my books mention of it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what would have uh, caused this? Ever your friend. Uh, attic still closed. Okay. Let's take a look. So we can probably add some clues in here. So the... Brook Chalice, I think we'll have that one. Uh, the Nightfall definitely is going to have the fairy painting. Not quite sure where the bird eggs sit just yet, but we'll take a look at that. Ah. Oh, look, that's the those really adorable eggs that we saw from last time. So I think I know where the eggs sit now in terms of the clue book. So where are we? Cradle Fern. Bird eggs. Yep. Okay. All right, let's go see what else we can find. So, they've got that door, that door. Let's go for this one. Ooh, some more seeds. So we've now finally got the cradle fern seeds. So that means we should be able to complete them, this one today. We just need to get the brook chalice seeds. And I feel like that's the one we are working towards. So, petition to be presented to the Honourable House of Commons. In recent years, hunts have been taking place in the Somerset Rivers. Tragically, this has led to the decline and even extinction of some bird species. No longer can we hear their beautiful chime-like calls. We call upon the government to regulate hunting near the rivers of Somerset. Good. That's a good thing. They're definitely looking to do that because we don't want to carry on that. We ask that they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, please sign below and return a letter to us. No expense. Attend signing your signature. Arabella Green. Perfect. I'm glad I've signed that. Um, and what have we got here? Ooh. Aquatic weed removal. So do you have a pond? Do you want to swim in it? Is it covered in slimy weeds? We're specialised in removing the following weeds. Algae, Himalayan balsam, brook chalice, the one we need, and duckweed. Okay, so this Clark company have been removing them. So let's add those in. So let's put the weed removal. And... I believe the cradle fern needs the fern painting. I'm not quite sure about the others yet, so let's carry on around. The Trapped Fairy Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection in the water. She lost track of the time, and day turned into night. Nooks, goddess of the night, noticed the little fairy. The moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nynx took offence and decided to punish the little fairy. Nynx placed the fairy into a nightfall and cast a spell on her. She fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. As dawn approached and the sun arose, the spell broke. Though just as the fairy awoke from her enchantment, the flower bud closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit of a demon gloom, but that definitely helps. So let's pop that in. Fairy story. And then let's take a look around. What's this? Oh, is that a kitty? Oh, my dear Nova. Oh, so sweet. Alright, what's over here? 
Dearest friend, it seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. While disappointing, I am not sure it's worth pursuing scientific study in such places. On my recent vi visit in Bridsby, the young man showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants, and due to there being a large group of gentlemen in the party, all um, whoops, all useful time and uh, irrigation was devoted to them and none given to Constance and I. Let us plan another trip of our own and perhaps we can see these specimens in their home habitats where they belong. Ever your faithful friend, Eliza. Oh, she's so sweet. She is. Okay, let's take a look around. So, I wish I could open these chests, man. They just look so enticing. <laughs> let's go over here. So, what's this? Mm, tincture of red clover. Chamomile and red clover seems to soothe hot flushes. Definitely does. An essence of arnica flower. Perfect. Okay, what's on the back of this one? For sprains, strains and joint pains. <clears throat> that is definitely my type of medicine. I think I need that. Um, so let's go in here. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Ooh, we have another boiler thing. A bunch of pipes. Um, what have we got to do in here? Let's take a look. So, I got to join the pipes together. Yes, I believe I do. Let's pop that there. Right, let's see what else is around. The number 30 bath geyser. So, it provides a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn a tap into the hot water. Will appear. Okay, that sounds about right. That's not for there. Put that there. Okay, let's put this one there. And then, oh, dear Bella, here's your quote to repair the geyser in your bathroom. The cost might seem high, but trust us, it's a complex job. Best left to the professionals. Yeah, sure. Okay, Frederick. I'm about to fix it right now, so you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, society. Right, let's put this one, last one there. And voila, it's back. And <coughs> I can't believe I just got an achievement <laughs> for flushing the toilet. <laughs> well, hey ho, no worries. That's fine, right. So, fill the bath. Ah, uh, I bet this is for that um, kind of underwater looking plant. That makes sense. Okay, right, let's empty that out. Let's get some more clues, figure this out a little bit more. And then we'll um, probably put the plant and the seed in here. So let's go on through. And we're just going to carry on forward in a minute. But let me just take a look. So it's definitely going to be for the brook chalice, this area. That's for sure. So, um, right. And we've already looked at that. Let's carry on straight forward. And there's all my seeds. Fantastic. So let's get one planted. We don't have... Oh, we don't actually have the seed I want yet. So let's um, go for the door and see if the seed is in here. Right. What's this bit? Dear Lady Arabella, I wanted to thank you once again for your invaluable contributions during our recent Meadow Orchids research expedition. Your keen observations and deep knowledge of orchids were so helpful. Your de dedication to the field is an inspiration to us all. I look forward to the future um, collaborations and the continued exploration of the botanical wonders that surround us. I will put in a good word for you with the Botanical Society. Most sincerely, Professor Montague. I really like M Montague, man. He seems like such a nice character out of this whole entire thing. So let's go over here. Oh, attic key. That's going to come in very handy. Right, let's go over here. So, health and safety warning. It has been brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Iron Works has been illegally dumping scrap metal in the rivers across Somerset. These rivers are now polluted with rust, making them unsafe for swimming. The river from, um, so do not follow in the following rivers, so River Cam, River Summer, River Chew. The river from was also affected by the waste. Um... <coughs> Though, oddly, the river is completely clear of rust pollution, so we're still researching what led to that effect. Hmm. Okay, so the plant is clearly in river from. That we must know. Um, the other few rivers have had it removed, and it says something about rust, so let's carry on. Um, 
Dear members, we want to make sure you can all enjoy swimming this summer. So we've cleared the uh, popular rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. The River Cam, River Tudor, River Summer have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the services of Clark's Aquatic Weed Removal Co. Of course, it's them again, um, removing all the weeds, but that one river from is surviving. Uh, thank you for your continued support. Thanks to the monthly donations, the River of Somerset are clean and weed free. Okay, that's good to know. Right, let's go for the next door without walking into a pillar. Let me just add the last one of my clues. And, oh, okay. What's this? Dear Arabella, I'm writing to share with you an exciting discovery I have made in my botanical studies. It turns out that some plants are particularly sensitive to sound and seem to thrive when exposed to, um, oh god, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse, um, exposed to music or melodies from their natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future and would be delighted if you could join me in my research. Your sincere friend, Marianne. How lovely. Thank you. And then one last little area here. Okay, so let's read through these. So there's the river from right at the bottom. Average temperature 25 degrees. I bet I need to change that boiler thingy to show 25 degrees. None of the rest seem like I need to change it. No. Okay. Fine. Last clue. River poster. Whoop whoop. Perfect. And now let's go and see about putting that water and the plant together. But what's up here first? Oh, chimes. Oh, okay. Maybe this is the other plant. I think, oh, bird calls. Oh, this is to do with the fern. Okay, so it had those, um, oh, what are they called? The crested egg. Uh, the, not egg, crested owl. That was what was on top of it. Okay, so let's go, go downstairs. We're going to do this one first, and then we can probably get away with doing the uh, the other few afterwards. So let one about melodies and petition, because obviously it was about stopping the birds getting shot. Right. Fantastic. Right, let's plant one. So what was it? It was the cradle fern. Water. And let's go take it upstairs and see what we can get with this. So let's take a look at the book. Which melody do I need to do? So E, C, D, E, G, F. E, C, D, E, G, F. E, C, D, E, G, F. E, G, F. Is that right? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. I love it. Oh, this looks so gorgeous. I, do you know, I love every time one of these plants blooms. They just look so pretty. And there it goes in the picture. Perfect. So the cradle fern is used by the crested owl as a nest. And in turn, the plant has grown dependent on the owl's chime-like call to grow. That is actually so adorable. Man, some of these plants are just so nice. Right, let's bring you with me. And we're going to go take you to my plant area or I might like drop you off on halfway because I think the attic's just across here yes yep I'm gonna pop you right here and then we're gonna go to the attic see what we can find up here okay so big attic let's take a look at these little clues that they've got though for me at the moment so what's this the flower growing companion. Sometimes a moth can become trapped inside a flower bud if it closes in the morning. The moth is then forced to use the flower bud as a resting place until it opens again later. Some flowers only bloom for short periods during this year, so if the moth is unlucky, the flower bud won't open again until many months later. Okay. That's very interesting then. Let's see. Okay, let's take a look then and see what else we can get from the clues. So we've got a moth of England. So we've got the hummingbird, hawk moth, and the moth, eye hoard moth, emperor moth, mint moth, green carpet moth. I love that one. That looks so pretty. Okay, so I feel like they're going to come in handy with something. 
Ah, okay. So moth spotting calendar. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I'm going to need a little bit more information on this plant before I can go ahead with anything. So let's collect the seeds. So this is the Brookchild seed, so I feel like we've got everything in terms of that one. So we're going to work with the other plant in a moment, but let's go do this one first. I'll come back to you in a moment, mister. So we've now finally got the Brook one. Plant you, water you, and then we'll take you to the bathroom. And tw was it 25 degrees? I want to say it was. So let's take a look. Let's see what we can do. Um, I think I got it wrong. I must have done. Drain that. Let's take a look at the thing again. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? I think it was in here, wasn't it? River from twenty five degrees. This double check this rust pollution mm, I wonder if was there something I had to make or do Hmm. Let's take a look. Hmm. I feel like there must be something I need to put in. Here. Right. Let's put that back for now. We'll come back to you in a moment because I feel like there's something extra I need to do for you, but I haven't quite got it yet. So let's go carry on upstairs because we're gonna we've still got the night bloom one to do. <laughs> Rusty pig. Okay, bear with me. I have a feeling I'm gonna need this, Mr. Pig. And it was 25. We'll try this. Yes, I knew it. I knew there was something extra I had to do. <laughs> right. That is so pretty. And there we go. We've grown the brook chalice. Wow. And I really wanted to keep that flower. Gorgeous. So the brook chalice refers to grow, well, prefers to grow in rivers with a temperature of 25 degrees. The plant naturally filters the water from rust and metal. Unfortunately, they get removed often as most people prefer their pond to be weed free. They, they, this is too pretty to kind of not be a plant that they don't want in their house so I've got my fern there so we'll come grab you in one momento but we're gonna go take you back downstairs and we're gonna put you with our lovely collection that we've got so let's go down and around and we've already got you guys there so I think you're a very pretty one to go into the window and then let's finally go grab the fern 
add that to the window and then we should there it is nearly overrunning it we're nearly there guys we've nearly done majority of the plants in this garden now let's put you i think you all look quite pretty up here and then i'm just gonna go get that windmill one like i said i wanted to do and then our collection is growing i can't believe it you know this game has been really nice to play i definitely recommend botany manor for those of you who like this type of game very therapeutic really like pretty um and very simple it's just such a simple gorgeous game it gets a little bit more complicated the more you go through it i'll, I'll definitely tell you that because last couple of episodes i was getting a little confused with some of the things i had to do um but it's just so stunning and you know putting it up online for you guys you know you can enjoy it use it to help you with tutorials anything you want but it's just very nice there we go so i've got one two three four five six seven eight eight new guys so we've got nine seeds we've got one last one to do and um that is the nightfall so guys thank you so much for today's episode we will come back and we'll get that last nightfall done and then we should be moving on to the next chapter bye